Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while. I think it's been a few months now. And the reason for that is because I'm pregnant. Yay! <laughs> not that that is an excuse to not upload videos, but during my first trimester I wasn't feeling great, so it automatically just became hard <laughs> to upload and film and not very motivating at all. But in this video today I thought I'd update you on my pregnancy, tell you a little bit about how I've been feeling, how far along I am, and yeah, just share our thoughts on how we find this journey so far. So right now I'm in my second trimester. I'm 21 weeks pregnant and I'm already starting to notice a little baby bump. <laughs> so this is my bump so far. Yeah, they're showing it from the side. Yeah. yeah, this is from the side. Hello. <laughs> so this has grown like crazy in the past two or three weeks. I feel like it's a bit weeks. smaller again today. It just depends on the day, I think. It depends how much food you eat as well and yeah, like, <laughs> bloating. I feel like sometimes in the morning I wake up and it's not so big and then at night it's like massive. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa, what sometimes happened? Sometimes <laughs> I'm super scared. Like, it frightens me a lot. <laughs> John is a bit scared yeah. of my growing belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun because now I can finally start to, to see a bump. So I actually look pregnant. We found out that I was pregnant, I think right away when I missed my period. Yeah. We kind of knew. Yeah, like five days after or something. Yeah, yeah, so it's been quite a few months actually. Mm -hmm. We've known for about four, four months or something like that. Yeah, as I said, in my first trimester I didn't feel all good. I was feeling quite sick. I did mm -hmm. throw up quite a few times. And yeah, I was just nauseous and did not have a very good appetite. Yeah, but it wasn't like you were sick every single no, day, like feeling true. sick the whole time you were... It was mostly like in the morning yeah. and then maybe just suddenly throughout the day or anything yeah. like that. A lot of pregnant women say that they get super tired in the first trimester and I don't think I really felt more tired than normal. I felt a bit tired because I was feeling nauseous and I didn't eat a lot. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's the reason why. So food-wise, I'm still vegan. And <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm planning on having a <laughs> vegan pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been going super well. In the first trimester, since I was feeling sick, I didn't have a good appetite and I mostly ate bread, <laughs> a lot bread, of bread. and pasta and yeah. fruit. Yeah. Loads of clementines because they were in season at the time. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what I had during the first trimester and also a lot of soup, vegetable yeah. soups. I haven't had any like specific cravings or anything like that. I've been eating a lot of oranges. A lot during, of oranges. During our time in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oranges are super healthy, so that's great. And now that I'm in my second trimester and further along in my pregnancy, I feel I feel pretty good. I feel back to normal. I can still feel a little bit sick in, my, uh, in the morning if I don't have breakfast right away. Right. Or if I don't have food and I start feeling hungry, then I can start feeling sick. But that's uh, very rare now. So a lot of people are probably worried that I'm not getting all the nutrients I need since I'm vegan and pregnant. But I don't think that's a problem at all for most people. As long as you eat a varied whole food plant-based diet, you'll be perfectly fine. I checked all my vitamin and mineral values and it was all perfectly fine. I have everything I need and yeah. So I don't think you should be worried about being mm -hmm. vegan and pregnant. You should be fine. So during my uh, first trimester, I did take a prenatal uh, whole foods, whole food based vitamin uh, for the for like four weeks or eight weeks. Yeah. Um, after that, I stopped and I'm not gonna take any more. I've also been taking B12, which we both take just mm -hmm. on a regular basis anyways. And I've also been supplementing with folate during my first trimester, which is recommended. And now in my second trimester, I've only been taking um, B12 and I also sometimes take omega-3s. So another thing is exercise. It's very important and very good to still continue your exercise routine when you're pregnant. Uh, just stay active and move around. I haven't been going to the gym as I used to do since I started feeling sick in my pregnancy and I've only been there about a handful of times since, <laughs> since that. Yeah. Um, I tried going a few times but it hasn't been feeling too comfortable. I've been getting like some light cramping and my stomach has felt a bit uncomfortable when lifting weights. So what I've been doing for exercise is basically just going for walks. So while we were in Norway, the weather was super nice. It was cold and freezing, but it was super nice outside. So we went for almost like a walk almost every day. Yep. 
and got some fresh air. Just the movement is very important. And then since we've been here in LA, we've been going on quite a few hikes, which is super nice as well. Just get your movement in. We've also been for the 20 week scan, which was very exciting. We got to see the baby. It was moving around like crazy. Super active. <laughs> it was super active. Yeah. Uh, everything looked great. The baby looked super healthy. And uh, yeah, we couldn't see the gender actually. We wanted to know but the midwife couldn't see it because the baby was moving around so much the legs were crossed and the umbilical cord were between the legs yeah. so we're just gonna have to wait and see when it's born which is gonna be exciting as well yeah and it's a bit tough because then we have to think about two sets of names one yeah. for male one for female uh, yeah, and we're so indecisive <laughs> and we struggle with coming up with names so it's gonna be a bit challenging uh, in that yeah. sense but we're okay with that, like we're okay with waiting and um, having it as a surprise. Maybe it's even better uh, now that we yeah. think about it. So yeah, this It'll is not a problem. When it comes out, we're just like, what is it? <laughs> yeah, but we don't have any yeah, like preferences We don't have any preference. It yeah. doesn't matter to us as long as the baby is healthy. Yeah. We don't matter, like it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. Okay, John, so why don't you tell them what you think about the whole thing and your thoughts about becoming a dad? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, something that I wasn't quite prepare when I heard the news I, like both of us weren't like super prepared to you know become a mom yeah, it, and dad. It wasn't planned at the time. It wasn't planned at the time but I am like super happy that it happened and I feel that you know we are at the stage of our lives where we can handle something like this Yeah. Uh, fortunately and we have the financial means to do it we have the support and we have the a good freedom. relationship we've been together for seven years we've been, almost exactly we've been together for so long and we're just hoping that it you know just comes out super healthy um which it will i'm 100 percent sure that it will but it's just like you know there's always a little bit of worry in there uh because of what you know other people say and you always hear these horror stories but mm -hmm. we're confident about it we're relaxed we're not uh too worried about it and me personally i'm excited to see what the future brings so the plan with this channel now is to just continue to make videos for you guys. I want to try to make a video maybe once or twice a week. Uh, keep you guys updated on the pregnancy, just on our life in general. Yep. And uh, just take you along on this journey. Because a lot of you guys have been asking, asking me to do updates about mm -hmm. my pregnancy. Tell you about how everything is going as a vegan and stuff like that. So. I think it would be very interesting to just, just document the whole journey and to, yeah, just for ourselves and for you guys as well. Yeah, so we're just gonna document the whole, the family journey basically. So expect a lot of videos coming up from us from now on. Remember to hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. I would greatly appreciate it. And also remember to leave a comment below. Yeah, stay tuned. All right. Bye.